Well, here we are, uh, Ian, uh, back at St. Matthew's. Thank yeah. you for hosting us yes. again. Yes, very welcome, thank you. And uh, for people who don't know me, I'm Judy Herring Graham, the incumbent at St. George's Memorial here in Oshawa. And since March, we have been right. putting on little YouTube videos of yes. our worship together. We're now here at the last Sunday before Labor Day. And it seems like both the longest and the shortest summer in living memory. Because of yeah. the restrictions on what we have been able to do or haven't been able to do, um, it's, it's been an unusual It's been a learning summer. curve. That's a nice way of saying it. It's been yeah. a learning curve. And uh, I know we're all uh, looking forward to things resuming the way they, oh, that we, we hope so. a little more freedom and yeah. stop questioning, am I allowed to, is that okay? Those little quite we're looking forward to having those things sort of go away a little bit. Clarified and moving forward. So, with that said, uh, last week of summer holidays for kids, uh, whatever school will look like yes. in 10 days, it'll be different for sure. Yes. So let's pray. Let's pray. We're using the Green Book of Alternative Services beginning on page 45. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, word and, and deed, deed, by what we have done, done and by, by what we have, have left undone. undone. We you have, have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have, have not loved our neighbors, our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and strength. Oh, come, let us worship. Our prayer for today. Author and giver of all good things, graft into our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us true religion, nourish us in all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm number 105, verses 1 through 6. It can be found on page 845 of the Book of Alternative Services. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength, continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen. God, God of our, our salvation, salvation through, through the death, the death and, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christ you, you have fulfilled, fulfilled your promise to our ancestors in the faith to redeem the world from slavery and, and to lead us into the promised land. Grant us living water from the rock and bread from heaven, that we may survive our desert pilgrimage and praise you forever through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. A reading from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 21 to 28. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, 
and on the third day be raised again. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Ian, first of all, I want to compliment you. We've talked about this in person, but not in front of the camera. Uh, congratulations on having no flies <laughs> this summer. So yes. whoever was who put up the plastic yep. to get rid of the flies, it has it been seems... dynamite effective. Yeah. There's been no, I understand you had like a crunch, crunch, crunch from cluster flies. And one of the things And they're not here this year. So every year uh, over the fall and in the summer, we, we at the very top of the windows, there seems to be a cluster, of an infestation, if you will, of flies. Mm. We've tried uh, having a bat that ate them, and then the bat got in the problem, and then we got rid of the bat, and the flies came back. Um, I'm not trying to make a song. And bad. you're not going to try spiders, so no, okay. No, so no, the, so the, plastic has worked. That's not good. And so like, what would happen on the Sunday morning is we'd come in, and, and before anyone got in, I'd vacuum up the carpet, and then I clean up the stuff. So I'm very happy that right now we don't have any flies So, on so the th thank you to the St. Matthews people who were so good, good about stuff. that. Harry, Job you're well awesome. Done. That being said, we're on to, so last week we hear about Peter's great confession of faith. You are the Christ, the, the Son Christ. of the living God. And this week we have Jesus in the next breath, mind you, saying, get behind me, Satan, as he talks to Peter. And so poor Peter, because he's just said to Jesus, like two minutes ago, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus has gone, yeah, Peter, you finally get it. God's revealed this to you. And then like five minutes later, in, you know, all buoyed up by, you know, I know who you are and you've affirmed that. Um, Jesus, don't go there if they're going to kill you. Right. And Jesus says, now you're Satan. So I say, you're God, and you call me Satan. And I'm like, poor <laughs> Peter. I can just imagine this broken individual going, oh. Just bewildered? I would be bewildered, be bewildered. bewildered and yeah. confused. Mm -hmm. On one hand, I got something so completely right. And then the next moment, when I simply have your best interest at heart, I don't want to see you killed by Pharisees and scribes and in the hands of the enemy. Because we got something good here, and you just told me you're gonna unnerve me, you're gonna undo everything. By I got your best interest at heart mm -hmm. in saying this because, mm -hmm. well, clearly I know who you are, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I want you to last a long time. I want you to be safe. Wear a mask when you go out. Use hand sanitizer. Don't go where the government right. says it's not safe to go yet. And you tell me that I am the leader of the enemy. And Good so, times. I mean, so Peter could have, you know, just given up. But, you know, you got to give, P Peter has spunk, so he's staying there. So what else does it say? Well, it's the very end. It's right near the end. The, I'm not going to say, I'm not even sure what this part is, but for those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? That, to me, that's easy. I mean, I think there's a joke about it that I can never quite remember. Like, what can you spend but never, receive. never get receive? And the answer is time. Yeah. We give time. So, um, your parishioners who sewed masks this summer, they took that two hours of their, or however many hours, and did that work, and gave the net 
of their work away to others unknown to them. I mean, it's gone out to people on the street, through the Backdoor Mission, through Father Vinaya's ministry. They gave that time. You have given your life. You said to Jesus, presumably at some point, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I give my life to you. I will follow you. And you're spending your life right now as a parish priest. You know, you've been doing this for how many years? Uh, over a decade. Over a decade. Okay, plus three years of seminary. So, like, close to 15 years now. Me, I'm teen, More than that. I'm teen years now. More than one decade, um, yes. But you're never going to get those, you know, you're never, you're never going to get your, your late 20s and 30s back. You don't get a do-over. So you have given your life for the gospel. And so, for me, this is far more than martyrs. This sanctifies every hour that we give that we are loving our neighbors as ourselves and following in the way of Jesus. So what would you call a martyr? You say this is not a martyr, which is... Which well, is not, it's not just limited to martyrs. I mean, it's not just people who die for their faith. Right. But it's people who give their life or part of their life for their faith. You give a part of your life for the sake of the gospel. Yeah, because I never get it back. So at the end of my life, when I can turn around and look now, back... The interesting word in that whole sentence is mm -hmm. give. Not exchange, mm -hmm. not transfer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not invest, give. I mean, an exchange or a gift, uh, sorry, an exchange mm -hmm. or a transfer or something like that is I'm giving you this and expecting something to come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. That's the essence of exchanging Change, something, yeah. right? That work, work, right? Yeah, like works righteousness. But if you're giving of yourself, or of your time, your talent, your treasure, those are very mm -hmm. big pieces, but if you're giving that and you're not expecting anything to come back for someone you've mm -hmm. never met, mm -hmm. that is sacrificial giving. That is, that's the highest, uh, the, the, the Jewish tradition has like 10 different levels of charity, and that's the highest form. When you give, not knowing the recipient, not and, knowing anything beyond yourself. And certainly throughout the last six months, people have been giving to their church, to their faith, mm -hmm. to their God, and have been receiving something, but it's not an exchange and purchase of goods. No. It's an I'm giving because the faith says that. So giving because the you know, I but I also so I do not give to get a blessing, that's the works righteousness. I give for the joy of giving. Right. And for living up my life following. Jesus. So when we talk about the very beginning here when Jesus says, get behind me, Satan, what's at stake? Well, so Satan is the tempter. Um, if we're, if we're going to, so I, I, I'm not going to personify Satan, but get away from me anything that would stop me from the, giving. Getting, get, stop me from giving. Stop me from giving of myself. Jesus was trying to give himself, mm. right? That's why he rebukes Peter. He's giving himself for the sake of the world, for, for us, whom we have yet to be born. He gave himself for us. And Peter said, no, no, don't, don't, don't do that. We don't want to hear that. Jesus' gift is what's at stake. Is himself. Is his himself. Life. And Jesus likewise calls us to give of ourselves. Maybe not all of our lives, but... Certainly pieces of them. Parts of them. As best we can, and we find ourselves saying, no, no, I can't do that. Perhaps we have to ask ourselves why we don't want to. Because maybe we're being called to a place we're uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Out, right? out of our comfort zones. And we all know we've been out of our comfort zones. We've been stuck at home with our friends, our neighbors, our local neighborhood, which can all of a sudden feel like a very small prison, and we've been asked to give of ourselves to people in a way we've never done. It's a hard space to be. So thank you. You know what? Thank you all for your, not just your monetary gifts, but for the gifts of your time, even just for tuning in, for telling someone, sharing this on YouTube or whatever else it is. But for the people who have continued to at St. George's, drop off food for Father Vinaya's ministry, for food and toiletries for the backdoor mission. For cleaning up the garbage that is around our churches, for cutting the grass, for simply 
saying your prayers quietly in the comfort of your own home, those things make a difference. Jesus clearly knows that this is going on. And we're grateful that we are able to sacrifice part of our life and not expect anything in return as a gift back to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. conversations, we get to a similar place, but by very different routes. How Anglican is that? It, perfectly Anglican. Let's... Oh, oh, you do it. I do it? You do it. Okay. Uh, well, let us affirm our faith using the Hero Israel on page 53 of the Book of Alternative Services. Hero Israel, the, the Lord, Lord our God, God is the Lord one. is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And for the prayers of the people this morning, let's use the home prayers found on page 691. Let us pray together to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we thank you for your many gifts to us, for your love which brings us together, for the earth which provides for our needs, and for the new life you have given us in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to you for our Christian family, especially the parishes of St. Matthew and St. George's Memorial and for the grace to grow in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray to you for our burdened world, for all its cares and needs, for those who are giving so much, for those who are unable to give, for all who lead us, especially our bishops, and for all who care for us, our family, our church family, and our friends. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to you for those in need, for those who are sick and lonely, especially those who are sick and lonely because of COVID-19, 
for those who are hurt and frightened, and for those who live without hope, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those we love who have died, that you will surround them with your care and love. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for each other, asking you to bless us, our friends and relatives, bless the places where we work, bless our homes, and bless our common life together. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of light, yours is the morning and yours is the evening. Let Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.